All right, let's take a look at these examples. Example A asks us to find the measure of angle R, Q, S, which would be, of course, this angle right up here. And the easiest way to find that, I believe, would probably be with the exterior angle theorem. So we're knowing because of that that this full angle right here, which is a straight line, is 180 degrees. So if this portion is 112, then angle X, which we don't know yet, would be the portion that's left. So we have 112 degrees plus X degrees equals 180 degrees, or that straight line. So then we subtract 112 from both sides. These cancel, and we get X equals 68 degrees. So that tells us that our missing angle, RQS, equals 68 degrees. All right, let's take a look at example two, example B. Example B asks us to find the measures of the numbered interior and exterior angles in the triangle. So let's just kind of go in order by number here. So starting with number one, number one we know is, again, the linear pair, kind of like the last question, with this angle right here, 92 degrees. So since that's a linear pair, those total 180. So we have 92 degrees plus, and I'm going to go ahead and relabel that angle x just temporarily so don't get it confused with the regular numeral, equals 180. And we subtract 92 from both sides. Oops, not 29, 92. There we go. Those cancel. And we get x equals, well, if they're both 90, it'd be 180, so that's 88. So x equals 88, so that tells us that angle 1 is 88 degrees. Now for angle 2, over here, it's a linear pair with 123 degrees. So for angle 2, same process, we do 123 degrees plus our missing angle equals 180. Subtract 123 degrees from each side. and we get x equals 57 degrees. So angle 2 is 57 degrees. Now for angle 3, which is down over here, hmm, angle 3, we can't do that same thing anymore, huh? Because 3 and 4 form a linear pair, that's true, but we don't know either one at this point. So we're going to have to use something else. We can use the triangle sum theorem, which tells us that 88 plus 57 plus angle 3 equals 180 degrees, since those are the three interior angles of a triangle. So let's do that. So we have 88 degrees plus 57 degrees plus x equals 180. 88 and 57, 130, 145. So 145 plus x equals 180. Subtract 145 from each side. and we get x equals 35 degrees. So now we know that angle 3 is 35 degrees. And now we can figure angle 4 because it's a linear pair with 35 degrees. So we just figure 180 minus 35. Let's do that one in well, red, about the only color we have left. Huh? 4 is 180 minus 35, which is 145 degrees. There we go. Okay, let's take a look at example C. Example C says, what is the value of P in the triangle given? So we know that the exterior angles of a triangle all total 360 degrees. So that would be able to give us this one right here. So we know that 110 plus 130 plus x equals 360. So this is 240 plus x equals 360. Subtract 240 from both sides. And x equals 120. So if x is 120, 
and it's a linear pair with P, then P must equal 60 degrees. And there we go.